Explosion. So you've all been roasting me about the age of the characters, so today I decided I'm gonna figure out the real ages of the ninja. Now the key all lies with my boy the mailman. So we now know that he visits the ninja every season, but by every season he means winter, fall, spring, and summer. Now we have to assume that the mailman only sees the ninja once, and it's during the seasons, never any time else. Confused yet? Because it's only going to get worse. So now we know that one season is actually one fourth of a Ninjago year. Now we also know that we get two seasons per year. This means that we would get one full Ninjago year in two actual years. Or four seasons would make a year. Now we need to be very specific. A Ninjago one fourth would include everything. So this means Day of the Departed counts as much as you guys want to hate on it and saying it's not a season. It counts, okay? So this means that we're going to have 11 seasons here. And that means it's been two and uh, three fourths of, uh, of, of actual years. So um, this lines up with the theory that Nia and Lloyd are 14 and the rest are 16 because they would still be teenagers. I mean, they'd be really close to not being teenagers, but they're still teenagers. But wait, there's a problem. What about times when there's a, a season that would span over a year? This means that one Ninjago year can't be two years. And in fact, it's actually four years. In fact, it actually took us four actual years to get the first year of Ninjago. And we've been looking at this all wrong, okay? Real years don't matter. Are you mind blown? Because because that, that, it took took quite a while. Real years don't matter. It's all about the Ninjago years. So now that we know this, it makes perfect sense, except for there's a time gap between season seven and season eight. Well, this messes up the entire theory, but no. No, that's, that's where I got you wrong. So, we know that it's been exactly a year. So what this means is we have to adjust the original ninja's age. We have to move them down a year. So they're going to be at 13 and 15. And that means that they're still teenagers by season 9. Which is actually, technically, in this term, season 11. They're almost not teenagers. Next season, no, no longer teenagers. Which makes sense. That actually, that, that adds... That means that means it makes sense, you know. They're 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 not teenagers. I guess Jay's okay getting married with Nia. It works. And 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 just overall, I mean, I think I think I solved it. I think I solved ages, everybody. Thank you all so much. Goodbye.